to the Midwest from Arizona, and as a sprint car driver, he had few equals. Whether it was on a half-mile dirt track like Terre Haute or Eldora, or a banked oval like Salem or Winchester, Roger McCluskey had it handled. The competition was more than formidable when he won his first USAC sprint car title in 63, second and third in points for A.J. Foyt and Don Branson. When he repeated in 66, his closest two pursuers were Mario Andretti and Bobby Enser. Roger made his debut at Indianapolis in 61 as a rather nervous rookie. He was to drive in the 500 18 times. He led it briefly in 62 and again in 63 when he almost finished third. That's where he was running when he spun out with less than two laps to go. Roger won the Ontario 500 in 1972 and was third in the rain the following year at Indianapolis. From there, he went on to win the national championship. Twice king of the USAC stock cars, he won the title in 69 and 70, or with some very strong rivals, with Norm Nelson Plymouths, Roadrunners on the shorter tracks, and the glorious winged Superbirds on the big speedways and tracks like the Milwaukee Mile. Although he had a decided fun-loving side, he was emerging as a serious thinker. People sought his opinions. He certainly never campaigned, but he seemed to be showing up on more and more committees. And by the mid-1970s, it was fairly common knowledge that the title of USAC Director of Competition would be Rogers whenever he decided to quit. That time came in August of 1979. He won a 200-miler at Milwaukee and felt that that was as good a time as any to say so long. Roger had the respect of everyone, from the drivers to the race organizers, the officials, the car entrants, the mechanics, the car builders. Roger passed away on August the 29th, 1999.